Hi, my name is Arielle Dodson, and when I was 18 years old, I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. Now today, I wanted to talk a little bit about why we stay in situations where we either don't belong or we stay in situations that don't serve us, and they clearly don't serve us. Um, now, somebody once asked me recently, there was a dark field in the distance, and they asked me, if somebody told you to go over there, would you just, just go over there? And I said, no. Why would I do that? And they were like, because you seem to lack a little bit of common sense. And that's kind of when it hit me. Oh my God, they're right. <laughs> I do lack common sense. And it's not so much that we lack common sense. I think we know when a situation does not serve us anymore. Because uh, you can clearly tell because of the pain that you were in, right? I always knew a situation was wrong or not right for me when I would relapse over and over and over again. But where the lack of common sense comes in is I would convince myself I still belong here anyways. I'll never find anything different. This is where I'm meant to be. <clears throat> and I think that's why most people with BPD, or some people, whatever you want to say, develop love and senses of trauma bonding. You know, you know what trauma bonding is, right? It's where the love that you were developing with somebody is not normal, is not natural. It's, it's almost like an addiction that you feel powerless to quit, right? And that for years, I've been dealing with this sense of trying to find myself and find and try and do a lot of soul searching and that's when I started researching and getting involved with the law of attraction <coughs> and one of my most favorite youtubers that does videos on finding yourself and the law of attraction his name is Aaron Dowdy and he, something he always talked about that really stuck with me is he said be the star of your own movie Quit trying to be a star or a cameo in somebody else's movie. And for, and for about two years now, that quote has really stuck with me. <sighs> Obsession is contrary to the law of attraction. Obsession kills. Obsession, jealousy, forcing things that aren't meant for you, those all go against the law of attraction and in getting what you want in life. For years, I've repeated the cycle where <clears throat> I want to be in somebody else's movie because obviously I am lacking in my own movie. I'm not focusing on directing my own movie. I'm not focusing on becoming a better role in my own movie. And <clears throat> the mind of someone with BPD is so fragile. And it's called the world's most painful illness for a reason. Because it is, ex it is extremely painful. Um, it's kind of, people have described it as having third degree burns all over your body. You feel everything in extremes all of the time. You know, when I was younger, I had this internet friend and he was so pushy and not like clingy or needy, but he was just so aggressive, you know, and I kept having to block him and and then I would unblock him, you know, a year later and we would talk, we would get to talking and he would do the same thing and I and then I would come back a while later 
and eventually he he changed you know he he let things be he let things flow how they were meant to flow and there was this ease in him where I could feel that he wasn't trying to make me do anything that I didn't want to do he if I didn't pick up the phone right away he was cool about it you know what I'm saying and as I got older, I started to realize I am just like that guy <laughs> when he was younger. <clears throat> I try and force myself in places where I don't belong, obviously. And when you do that, you postpone what is really meant for you. Did you know that? <clears throat> when you stay where you were obviously unwanted... Or you try and push yourself into somebody else's life. Or you try to make yourself more important in somebody else's life than you really are. Or try and find a role in somebody else's life that they clearly don't want you in. You postpone what is really meant for you and where you were really meant to be. And this is a life lesson that I have continuously had to, to have had to relearn over and over again. So what did we just go over? Let me break it down. When you do not focus on being the star of your own movie, being the director of your own movie, and you try and be a cameo in somebody else's movie, you postpone what is really meant for you and where you were really meant to be. Obsession, clean, clinginess, neediness, aggression, control, manipulation, all those things are, contra are contrary. All those things go against love. Those things don't mix. If you want love, all those things push it farther and farther away from you. And I'm starting to think I had this problem in a past life or something because I'm starting to think it's a problem I had in a past life that I need to solve in this life or it's going to repeat over and over again in my later life in my later lives. No matter how hard I seem to try <coughs> to, to try and find who I really am, there is always this hole inside which means that I have a lot of trauma that is unresolved. Part of being BPD or having BPD is feeling this emptiness that sometimes we try and fulfill with things like finding that in other people, which will never work, or, or, or substance abuse, which I have always been fortunate enough to never have a substance abuse problem. And I hope to God I never will. Um, one of the biggest things I have noticed recently is that I have a lack of self-respect for myself. That means when I relapse, when I am triggered into a relapse, there is no self-respect in wanting to maintain dignity or maintain my reputation. I could be standing in front of the president, and if I was in a relapsed state of mind, it wouldn't matter. I would be going nuts anyways. And that lack of control makes you look like a psycho. And it's like, dang, I really have no sense of trying to maintain that I am a normal, healthy person. <laughs> there is no hiding it. There is, there is no hiding that, that I am borderline, right? And this is something that I have had to learn over and over and over and over again. And that's when I come up to places like this in hopes of trying to find myself in hopes of talking to a camera might help somebody else that's going through this painful illness or 
that it might stick in my head a little bit more when I talk about these things. Because clearly I know what I'm doing wrong. Clearly I know the mistakes that I am making in life that are getting me nowhere. But somehow, some way, I can't seem to take in my own advice. You know what I'm saying? All right. Well, that is everything I have to talk about today. And um, yeah, join me next time.